Hey guys, Colton Merriman again, and today we're going to do a Let's Play Batman Arkham Knight. Now, I didn't know this because I hadn't played this game in a while, but that actually came out with the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice suit. And I am so hyped for that movie, it's I ridiculous. I mean, it, it is ridiculous monster. how hyped I am for that movie because I love Man of Steel. I wasn't a big fan of Superman uh, before Man of Steel. I mean, I liked him, but when Man of Steel came out, I was like, oh man, this is the Superman I'm in. And when this bat suit came out, when they really said Ben Affleck was going to play him, a lot of people hated, but I didn't really have a problem with it. But, um, Ben Affleck looks like he's going to do the great job, and the bat suit looks amazing. And I was excited when I found out you could get the bat suit on Arkham Knight, and especially when I found out it was free. That was awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do some free roaming today, jack some guys up, force feed them their neat caps. Basically, and show off this suit in this Batmobile. There it is. Where are you running, boy? Come on, come on. I'm just gonna walk away now. You, you do what you're gonna do. Ooh, boom! Bat flick. This Batmobile. Oh my gosh. Um. I liked the Christian Bell Batman, the Dark Knight series and everything, but what I didn't like about it was the... Oh, I did not like that. Not one bit. Really. I mean, it wasn't unbearable, but I didn't like it at all. But if you watch the new trailer for Batman v Superman John Justice, which is just freaking amazing, I'm not going to spoil anything because I know some of you probably haven't watched it yet, but Ben Affleck's voice is pretty good. I mean, when he's in his metal suit... It's more robotic sounding because he has a um, voice changer and when he's not in his metal, metal suit it still sounds a little robotic but not bad because it's just a voice changer. And it's just amazing because he can do a good job. And this Batmobile, um, I like the Tumblr from 2008, The Dark Knight, but this one is just a better in my opinion. It's like the Tumblr mixed with um, Tim Burton's version of the Batmobile. That's what it is really. Thank you. Oh, maybe not the best driving. Uh, oh, yeah. Boom! Where are we going? Where are we going? Try to look for some cars. Chase down some guys. Who is Zulker? How do you not know that by now, bro? There they are. Boom! I love that. I love how they go flying like that. It's just not just them, their car blowing up. It's just a flip and fly. Bad flick. One thing I don't really like is like you have they run away from you a lot. I mean I want to fight, you know. You have to hit him with a battering if you want him to fight you. The guys that get him to run away, just like that. And another th cool thing I like they added with this one of the updates is photo mode. Like the, right here, you just click these analogs for a quick one. And you go into photo mode, just like that. Look at that bat suit, man. That is just they got that down pat. The symbol. I like the new fabric. It's more it's like real similar to Superman's in Man of Steel. Even though this dude ain't got the bat flick face. Still looks good. And a lot of people were complaining because well I, at first when I first saw this bat suit, I was like, ugh. But then I was like, no, hold on a minute. I got the Dark Knight Returns comic. I know what this is all about. And the ears. I'm glad they're not like super long. I'm glad they're like this. It's pretty cool. So, that's, that's all Gucci. Why did I just say that? Oh my god. I am just like, horrible. I like the noises that this Batmobile makes a little bit more too. Woo! See the graphics on this are amazing. This was a good game. I waited for this game for like 
years. I ain't going to photo mode right here. Take a screenshot of that. If it would do it. There we go. Yeah, how does that not kill a person? I know Batman doesn't kill, but like, how does chunking them out of a speeding car not kill them? I'm working his butt cheeks. That how Batman do though. No mercy. All right, where are we going? Ooh, not today. Those tanks still functional? If we don't find something soon, I'm no, that's right. I, I didn't blow them up, but I think I... I don't know. A lot of people complain because, like, they wanted the Batmobile so mad, so bad when you... On the first Arkham game. And now we finally get one, and people just complain. Like, are you serious? They say there's too many Batmobiles, um, parts of the game where you have to use the Batmobile. And I'm like, not really. I, I think it's fun. I like it. I think I'm just easily amused, though. Oh, I thought they were, were facing the other way. I'm not gonna hurt you yet. Need some info from you, boy. Boom! How does he not snap his neck, man? That's horrible. Batman may not kill you, but he'll get a few inches, you know, he'll get really close. Beat you a few inches within your life. I love this little thing they put in the game. Take out at least five guys with that, it's amazing. Matrix Batman. Back in 2009, I think it was, when the first Batman Arkham game came out. It is awesome. Call the Batmobile. Wait, no. Guys over there. Boy. Skip that. Skip that. Skip it. Oh, no. Come on, what's up? What's up? What's up? Boom. I mean, he may not kill him, but you probably get some serious brain damage from that man. Oh, oh, you're not done? You're not done? Idiots. Well, it's good. I wish, I'm hoping, like, that people didn't think they could make a good Batman game. And people don't think they could make a good Superman game. I think they should do Superman like this, in third person, in the same type of view and everything. And I know the flying, getting down the flying is going to be hard. And they talk about how, like, he has no, Superman doesn't have that many weaknesses, so there has to be a challenge in the game. Kryptonite. Kryptonite can kill Superman. It can. So have enemies with kryptonite. You know? And have it like this. Say that, just pretend this is Superman right here. I can just take off and fly. You know? Big old Metropolis. Like, give me, uh, like, put in Doomsday or Darkseid. Or have multiple villains or something, man. It'd be awesome. Do it with Superman. And then, after you're done doing it with Superman, do, like, Aquaman. Like, 
swirling around the ocean and crap. That that would be cool. Fighting enemies. Maybe if you like go in the deep dark depths of the sea and make it a little scary or something. I don't know. Just make video games of all the Justice League characters like that, and then come out with the Justice League game, where you can like kind of like Grand Theft Auto Five, you can switch to different characters. You can switch to each member of the Justice League. Make the Justice League. That would be awesome. And then when you're finished beating the story mode, you'd have each city where you can free run with each character in each of their cities. That would be dope. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. And like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.